Good morning, everyone. I'm Katie Nolan with your top headlines for Monday, June 25th. Obvious headlines are obvious, and Jerry Sandusky goes from Penn State to State Penn. Holly fucking Luya. All that and more right here on your Guyism Speed Round, brought to you by Meatwad.com. The world's ugliest dog has been crowned, and it's this Chinese crested named Mugly. How did this guy not win? And is the tongue hanging out thing a prerequisite, or is that just what attractive dogs do to make themselves look uglier? Like the canine duck face. Don't forget, guys, we're brought to you this month by Meet Moi, a dating service for people who hate dating services with a convenient cell phone app that helps you locate people around you, meet them, and be less awkward when you talk to them. Stick around to the end of this video and I'll tell you how you can win a $500 Amazon gift card thanks to our partnership with Meet Moi. Octomom is suing Virgin Atlantic because she says that on her flight from New York to LA, the crew spent the entire time making fun of her. In other news, a Jewish guy is suing Nazi airlines for teasing him the whole time. Do you see that bruise? I'm moving, right? And I dropped my suitcase on myself? Holy shit. To update you all on my living situation, I found an apartment. Yay! The sad part of that is that I will no longer be with my roommate, the Gremlin, who most of you know very well by now. So we've decided that Friday we're going to do a special episode with the Gremlin as the co-host. It should be absolutely ridiculous and not at all professional. So if you have anything you want us to talk about, this is a bad idea, send your questions and comments to me, katieikism.com, and maybe we'll talk about it. The weather's been really great if you live particularly in just my section of the world, which luckily none of you do, but maybe you spent the weekend at the beach. Coco did, and she made sure there were pictures to prove it. Personally, I'm offended by how spread open that is. We all know you don't read. Overall, that dog sums up my feelings pretty perfectly. Two elderly people were shot and killed at the hotel that the daytime Emmys were being filmed at just hours before the event started. And then it was called off, because there's no one left who wants to watch the daytime Emmys. A Florida man stole $53 worth of meat by shoving it down the front of his pants and running out of the supermarket, but was caught when he pulled over to remove his license plate. You pulled over while running from the cops? With balls that big, I'm surprised you were able to fit any meat down there in the first place. Okay, Cupid conducted a ridiculous study that matched up seemingly useless bits of information about people with useful pieces of information about how they would act on first dates or something. For example, if you like beer, you're more likely to have sex on the first date. They also found that if men answered yes to any of the following questions, there was an 82% chance they were going to have sex on the first date. Number one, in a certain light, wouldn't nuclear war be exciting? Number two, assuming you were in the position to do so, would you launch nuclear weapons under any circumstances? And number three, could you imagine yourself killing someone? I guess that makes sense, because technically rape is sex on the first date. Donations for the bullied bus monitor, last I checked, were nearing $700,000, and Southwest has offered a free trip to Disney for her and nine of her friends. Which leads us to our next segment, which I'd like to call Really Obvious Headlines. <music> bullied school bus monitor might retire. Might? Oh, I just want to stay a bus monitor, because I enjoy it. Massive college debt can burden graduates for decades. Pregnant women should avoid alcohol during pregnancy, experts say. Take a little bit of comfort in knowing that if this is where you come for your news, you're not missing much. In news that I'm way too excited about to remain neutral on, Jerry Sandusky has been convicted. And now, he's on suicide watch. That sounds awesome. What channel is that on? Kevin Richardson from the Backstreet Boys is, first of all, still alive, which is cool, because wasn't he like 40 when they first came out? And second of all, getting naked for his role in a new movie called The Casserole Club. 
That's disgusting that they now make porn for old people. Tell me why. Paris Hilton made her debut as a DJ this weekend. So she's been in reality TV, a sex tape, and now she's a DJ. That's, she's a talentless triple threat. George Blair is an 82-year-old man who still gives free horseback riding lessons to children in New York City. He shows no sign of stopping, and in an interview he said, I'll be doing this when I'm 120. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? More likely, though, you'll be dead, just to be honest. An animal rights organization is outraged by CeeLo Green's announcement that he'll be replacing his creepy cat with a creepy cockatoo for the next season of The Voice because they say the stress will cause the endangered animal to self-mutilate, which The Voice has been known to do because hot pop stars from the 90s are an endangered species and this one mutilated the fuck out of herself. Like I said, guys, we're brought to you today by MeatWad.com, and we're giving away an Amazon gift card to one lucky person who emails me their biggest first date turnoffs. Emailing only enters you once, just one time. You have one chance to win $500. Be smart about it. Download the app on your phone. It's available on Android and iPhone. Meet moi. Sign up. Use the word guyism, and you get two choices, two chances. Whatever. I'm tired. Every day I like to read one or two of my favorites. Today's comes from Eric Squires, who said, Worst first date? Went out with a woman. Her husband also showed up. They were looking for a threesome. No thanks. Ouch. Or, you know, not ouch. But that would still be ouch. Keep the emails coming, guys, and me and the gremlin will announce the winner on Friday. That's going to do it for your speed round. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button, comment down below, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel. And if you haven't laughed yet, I will throw a link to a video in the description that will make you do so. Enjoy your Mondays, and I'll see you right back here tomorrow with more headlines that you need to know. We're giving away a $500 I am one of those. Good morning, everyone. I'm Katie Nolan with your top headlines for Monday, January the what? Huh? June. Are you out of your tree?